Oh, wait, literally as I'm making this video, I'm seeing this new tweet. The patch is now live. That's it. That's the whole freaking thing. Blue Box Game Studios. This is allegedly an indie game dev studio that has been embroiled in conspiracy as people suspect that their upcoming project Abandoned might actually be related to Silent Hill or Metal Gear or just something Kojima related. And it all started when people compiled various theories about Blue Box Game Studios and a myriad of rather crazy coincidences. This is one Reddit post that gained a lot of traction and compiled some of the reasons why this theory got kickstarted. And some of the crazier coincidences include Karman, Hassan Karman's last name, and Hassan Karman being, I believe, the head of this Blue Box Game Studios and the creative director of the abandoned project. His last name, translated from Turkish to Japanese, is Hideo, as both words mean hero, and so that one especially got the flames of this conspiracy theory going. Not to mention, Blue Box at one point tweeted out that people should try to guess the name of Abandon, which is a code name, and they said first letter S, last letter L, which immediately led people to think Silent Hill. So, it all got a little out of hand, I'd say. But on June 15th, 2021, Blue Box insisted that they have no relations with Konami, that Silent Hill is owned by Konami. We do not have any relations with Hideo Kojima. It was never our intention to tease the name of Silent Hill. We sincerely apologize for this. A number of journalists have also chimed in. Jeff Grubb from GamesBeat published this article on April 7th, stating that Abandoned for PS5 is not a secret Hideo Kojima game, as according to his sources, Hideo Kojima is in dealings with Xbox. Jason Schreier at one point actually spoke to Hassan Karman, but he stated that he was left with more questions than answers, noting how Karman, you know, is he a real indie developer? Almost certainly, but I was left wondering who else works at this studio, what kind of contract he signed with Sony, and who his mysterious funders are, and how a little-known studio plans to make a game with realistic graphics at 4K 60 frames per second. And Jason just got very vague answers from Karman, not a lot of clarification. Now, Blue Box has definitely played the victim a little bit. Hassan Karman came out at one point, tweeted some videos to show that he's not an actor and how exhausted the team was uh, from the pressure that they're facing because of all of the eyes that are on them expecting this to be Silent Hill or Konami or Kojima related. And while I sympathize with them at first, then they decided to release this tease, a tweet that reads, Are you ready? We are. And you get the abandoned logo here that uses a font that is damn near identical to the one used by Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, Portable Ops, Peace Walker, and the Metal Gear Solid Legacy collection. And in the back, is a blurry image of a man wearing an eye patch, and given all the theories surrounding Blue Box and how Abandoned might be Kojima related, they obviously knew what they were doing when they released this image. So that's been frustrating for Metal Gear and Silent Hill fans, how the marketing of this game clearly seems to be baiting that fan base in order to spread these theories to bring more attention to their project. But beyond that, it's been frustrating to follow along with this marketing as they've continuously delayed this trailer app that they have hyped up a number of times. Back in June 20th, it was announced that this trailer app that would allow people to watch uh, a real-time rendering of their trailer instead of a video version of it. Originally, it was supposed to release on June 22nd, 2021, but then that got pushed back a number of times. In the days and hours leading up to June 22nd, the app was later delayed to June 25th, and then after that, on June 25th, it was announced that they were hoping to release the app today. However, they've decided to delay the app until August. Then on July 11th, an exact release date was provided with a tweet that reads, we're excited to announce that the Abandoned Trailers app will be available to preload free of charge for all PS5 users on July 29th, with the introduction available on August 10th. And those plans have been derailed, which I'll get to in a bit, followed by the first trailer later in August. Lo and behold, the trailer app was available for preload on July 29th, but it didn't have any content in it, asking people to check back soon. So this is what the app looks like with none of the content in it. This is what people got to preload. You open it up, it shows the title. It asks you to 
It shows the Blue Box Game Studios logo. It asks you to pick a language eventually. And once you pick it, you get a message that says this application does not contain any playable content, yada, yada, yada. All content is rendered through the images and therefore not a high quality video. But after that, it fades to a message that says check back soon. But the day prior to August 10th, Blue Box tweeted this in preparation for finally releasing the content that would unveil what this abandoned project is. The real time experience patch will be available universally on August 10th. Time zone difference does not affect this available uh, 21 CET. And then before that, they tweeted access to the real time experience app is closing in with an opening teaser as an introduction. You'll get a glimpse to what you see is what you play, along with some announcements to look out for. See you on August 10th. From there, just hours, or I believe even just minutes before this introduction was set to launch on this trailer app, Blue Box tweeted this a teaser and it doesn't show a whole lot but it gives you i guess a glimpse of the graphics of this game all it shows really is some wooden plank flooring alongside a man who's walking through it not much else to glean at the camera stays panned sort of towards the floor as to not show the individual's face obviously very cryptic and the hope was that you know we'd get to see more of what this footage was teasing once the trailer app released the content it was meant to launch on August 10th. But then Blue Box tweeted this after people began reporting issues, only seeing the exact same thing. This bit right here with the message that fades into check back soon. Blue Box tweeted out, we will inform you once we resolve the issue. Here we have another tweet from August 11th. We won't be delaying the patch to a specific date, but release it as soon as we have resolved it. On behalf of the Blue Box Game Studios team and everyone involved with Abandoned, we thank you for your patience and apologize deeply for the inconvenience. So this is the nth time that the trailer app and its content has been delayed and not even with advance warning, much advance warning, delayed at the last minute. And in this case, the trailer app and the content that was supposed to release for it was delayed literally on the hour when they realized that there was an issue with the patch that was supposed to show off whatever this app is meant to show off. Here are some additional tweets compiled by IGN. Quick update, we are still working on it. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience on August 10th, 2021. And then after that, on August 11th, the delay is taking longer than expected. We are fully working on this. We thank you for the patience and we apologize for this. And then on August 12th, which is just yesterday, they tweeted out this. We ask everyone to calmly wait for the patch. We understand your frustration. We are 100% real and are working on a passionate game we believe in. This is what happened. We dealt with multiple engine issues that occurred last minute after we spotted a graphical glitch. And it's a very vague explanation that has people scratching their heads and raising their eyebrows. For that, we wanted to do a quick update. We're almost there as most of the testing is completed. We'd like to thank you again for the patience and apologize for the inconvenience. So suffice to say that the launch of this trailer app and the intended launch of the introductory content for this abandoned game has been nothing short of a complete disaster, really. It's been a mess. They haven't been able to get their shit together. They have delayed this multiple times. While I'm all for the idea of delaying what needs to be delayed, so that the product or whatever you're outputting can be in the best state possible, I'm all for giving developers the time that they need. When you're constantly announcing release dates and delaying and announcing and delaying, especially when it happens at the last minute multiple times, and in this case happens on the day off, on the hour off, I mean, that just shows a lack of something, a lack of organization, a lack of, I don't know, competence, a lack of experience, whatever it might be, it's just not a comforting situation. If you can't handle the launch of a trailer app, then, you know, obviously people are going to wonder, are you going to be able to handle the launch of your game, of the game proper? You know, this just wouldn't be an indie studio that I'd place my trust in to deliver a really compelling and polished product when they have so many technical issues with just releasing a trailer really is what this is. And making matters worse is the fact that Blue Box has been deleting a lot of their previous tweets, especially ones announcing the release date or release window of the trailer app and its upcoming content. That's why I've been reading tweets through articles and through screenshots. This is my own screenshot from tweets that were deleted today where they try to explain what happened. And now those tweets are gone. You can see right here above, are you ready? You would be seeing these tweets right here. Are you ready 
followed by this explanation for why the patch was once again delayed. But those tweets are gone, which leaves people wondering what's going on. Is there a new release window at all? Like what's just happening in general? Oh, wait, literally as I'm making this video, I'm seeing this new tweet. The patch is now live. Please check the update available on your console. This patch introduces the following access to the app, a short introduction teaser for the app along with its announcement. Okay, then let's actually boot the app up and see what happens. First, let me check and make sure that this is the latest version of the app um, is available. Okay, let's go to downloads. It's worth noting that this patch is five gigabytes, just a little over five gigabytes. So, I mean, there better be something substantial here, I hope. Actually, I found the clip on YouTube. I'm just gonna play that instead. It makes no difference. So here it is and uh, be warned, you will be thoroughly disappointed. So here it is. You pick the language. You get the message here before taken to this menu where we're shown that available now is the introduction that'll be followed by the cinematic reveal trailer. And then that'll be followed by two more trailers. And then below that, you've got gameplay demonstrations that'll also be available soon. As for what the introduction video is, uh, okay, so check it out. Yeah, I, I don't know what Blue Box is thinking anymore with this marketing campaign. This is just so frustrating to behold. So here it is. Welcome to the real time experience. That's it. That's the whole freaking thing. And then I assume it takes you right back to the menu. Playable prologue coming soon. It just, it just feels like they're dragging us along at this point. It feels like they're trolling, to be honest. So that clip is the very one that I showed you, the one that they tweeted on August 10th. And I thought it might be just like a little piece of the full thing that they were gonna show on August 10th, but it's literally the whole thing. So what's the point of the real-time trailer app and uh, getting everyone hyped to see something that's already been tweeted? I'm so confused by this. It doesn't reveal the game in any way. We still don't know what this game is. And you can imagine how the reaction on social media has been overwhelmingly negative with people installing the patch, which is five gigabytes. I don't know how. That one itty bitty bit of footage justifies five gigabytes, but here's one Twitter user who tweeted, are you actually real? That's all there is. Save your time downloading it. It's just that shitty Twitter video of the dude walking on the app. That's it. Here's a response of someone asking, bro, why is it five gigabytes? Which is a great question. And just in general, my Twitter timeline has been full of people just laughing at the hilarity and absurdity of this marketing campaign that is proving woefully ineffective. And what adds an extra layer of apprehension to all of this is that the internet is starting to do their research on Blue Box and they're discovering a history of them abandoning projects and this whole cycle of delaying marketing over and over again and then nothing coming from it. Like, that's not the first time it's happened with Abandoned. This has happened over and over and over again with some of their previous projects. This was outlined by Reddit user Tic Tac Paul, who compiled a timeline of Blue Box's history and their previous projects. Another timeline of events was compiled by Reddit user Barfield. And I'll link to both of these in the sources section in the descriptions below for those who want to look deep into this. But a summary of everything can be found in this image that has been making the rounds that alleges that Blue Box might be a big scam due to their history of delays that eventually leads to a project never ultimately launching. So, for example, for a game called Rewind, the playable teaser for it was delayed because of technical issues, which is a very familiar story with what's been happening with Abandon and all of its delays. Said it'll have VR, then announced they canceled VR, then canceled their Kickstarter. Said the game development is on halt, and they'll tell us when development continues. Said that they have a new project in the works. This new project, I believe, was Lost Tapes, which I'll get to in a bit. Then they announced that development for Rewind resumed, but then the game never released. The website was deleted. 
Then for Lost Tapes, they said that they will stream gameplay soon. The game ultimately never came out and was deleted from the IndieDB website. Then in 2017, they announced a horror game called The Whisper coming out on June 2017. The game never came out. In 2018, they announced a multiplayer horror game called Unseen Faces, also never came out. 2019 released a broken mobile app called Tales of the Six Swords. They stole an anime character art and made it this app's icon. Said an update is coming to this non-working app. Remove the app from the store. 2020 released a horrible horror game called The Haunting on Steam and Early Access. Game received 100% negative reviews. They removed the buy option. Uh, they said that a big update was coming very soon. Delayed the update. Then the update was never released. They quit developing the game and gave it to Create Q Interactive to finish it. Multiple news outlets and myself have corroborated that The Haunting did in fact shift from Blue Box being the developers to Creative Q Interactive being the developers. I don't know what became of that game. And now fast forward to today, 2021, and we have Blue Box announcing this new horror game Abandoned, said that the PS5 real-time app will be available on August 10th after myriad delays at the last minute. On the day of, they said they have technical issues they're working to resolve ASAP, and then everything was delayed until today when they did actually release the patch but the footage we saw was nothing. It was literally a whole lot of nothing. It was the same clip from their tweet on August 10th showing the guy walking on some wooden plank floor. It really does feel like they're trolling now. It really does feel like they're dragging us along and having a laugh. And I'm all for giving developers the breathing room to make their game, their project, the best it can be, but when you look at Blue Box's history and how history is repeating itself with Abandoned and how this trailer app situation has been disastrous and its first patch with the introduction, that's been a whole lot of nothing and how they're so woefully mishandling marketing. The more this situation continues to develop, the more I get the sense that this is just an indie studio that have no clue what they're doing are weighing over their heads. I hope that whatever they're doing ultimately turns out to be successful, and I hope whatever game they're working on ultimately ends up being something everyone will end up enjoying. But yeah, I can't say that I feel particularly confident about the future prospects of Abandon, of Blue Box, given their history and given what's going on now. It's just this whole situation is, is starting to become rather laughable. We have even got folks on the actual Blue Box Conspiracy subreddit expressing their doubts about all of this. The Reddit user here who compiled this timeline said, to conclude, they all contained features like cinematic storytelling with bold claims as high graphics fidelity, referring to all of the myriad projects that they've announced and delayed and ultimately not released in the past. However, none but The Haunting have released officially, and even then that game was handed off to another studio and ultimately proved unsuccessful. There's a take from a PlayStation Lifestyle.net article that I think puts it Best. I want to read this segment for you guys because it mirrors kind of how I feel about Hassan Karman and Blue Box and this whole situation presently. The short version is that this is a guy who has a history of making big promises and only half finishing the things he works on. He's a man with vision, certainly, but he's a lot of talk with little to show for it. The failed Kickstarters and half-finished early access releases, it all reminds me of someone I used to know about 12 years ago. This friend of mine was a chronic liar and would over-exaggerate all the time. He promised big things constantly, but could rarely ever deliver on them. He invented fake companies and fake co-workers and maintained everything as the truth. He spun webs and built teetering houses of cards out of his lies, getting so deep in the falsehoods and promises that he would come to truly believe them himself. He was charismatic as anything, and for a long time I believe his intentions were good. And I'm not going to claim here that this is exactly the case for his son, Karman, but the fact that he's given off these vibes is not a good sign. And you combine this with how Hassan has clearly been taking advantage of the Metal Gear Silent Hill hype train, combined with how vague he was with details about his studio and his partnerships when he spoke with Jason Schreier and didn't really provide him a whole lot of specifics about the project or the team, and combine that with the track record that Blue Box as a studio has, a track record of abandoned projects that also made 
big promises and it's hard not to get these vibes that this article is expressing that kind of mirror how I'm starting to feel. He was charismatic as anything and for a long time I believed his intentions were good, probably a reason I remained good friends with him for years, but ultimately his lies bore him out and I couldn't be around him anymore. In many ways I get some of the same red flags from Hassan that this old friend of mine gave me constantly, shifting goalposts, secrecy, odd inconsistencies, and I assure you my old friend was not secretly Kojima working on Silent Hill. I hope all of my suspicions and negative feelings surrounding Blue Box and Abandon right now all turn out to be false and that hopefully this is all just a hitch on the road of this project's journey. But they have to stop with all the vague and unclear teasing and have to be very clear about what their ambitions are with this game and show us something tangible that will make us believe in it in some way, shape, or form. Until then, I can't help but feel suspicious about this entire endeavor. Prove me wrong, Blue Box. But that's just one man's take. Let me know in the comments below what your disposition is towards Blue Box and Abandon in light of recent developments and all the information that's being brought to the surface. Share your thoughts below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.